This is the first in a series of videos where we're going to be installing, configuring, and upgrading uh, DDWRT on the Netgear Nighthawk R9000X10. First, let's um, give you a little bit of background information on what is DDWRT. I will provide a link um, for all these uh, information. First of all, uh, DDWRT is a third party firmware that uh, is managed or uh, maintained by BrainSlayer. And what it does is that it adds advanced features um, on the router um, that you would not find in the original firmware. Before I get started, uh, just as a disclaimer, um, I would not uh, be held responsible for any damage or breaking of your router. Uh, you would basically go at your own risk um, updating or doing any firmware manipulation on your hardware. First of all, uh, let's go to the website ddwrt, dd-wrt.com, where we would go and download the firmware version for our R9000. So we would go to dd-wrt.com. On the home page, we would select router database. We would put in our router model, R9000. And there are many different versions that you have. Um, as a best practice, it is always go N minus two. So we would be downloading uh, the version R36527. There are two files. Uh, there is an image file and there is a bin file. The image file is what you would go from the factory Netgear uh, software to the DDWRT um, firmware. And then you would actually run the bin file, which would upgrade it and make sure that it resets all the different parameters and it's ready for configuration. I have already downloaded both files already and I have them stored. Uh, that's these two files right here. So I have them available just to save time. Okay, first of all, uh, we would log into my new router. First of all, before you do that, um, if this is a brand new router, um, I would recommend that you uh, create a static IP address on your router to make sure that it always uh, get connected to the router. So I would go to network uh, connections. Um, I would right click on my ethernet adapter. I would select IPv4 properties and I would give my computer an address 192.168.1.11 with a slash 24 submit mask of 255.255.255.0. This would allow me to just get connected. There is no need to put a default gateway or DNS. Okay, I would then try to log into my router. By default, the username is admin and the password is password. As you can see, my router is brand new. So there is no configuration. Um, it is not connected. It is recommended that you should not connect the router to the internet as yet. We're going to just be doing the basic um, upgrading of the firmware to DDWRT. As you can see, my firmware version that my router came with is version 1.0.1.36. Okay, we would go to advance. We go to administration. And we would select firmware update. Select browse. And we're going to browse to where we store the factory to DDWRT uh, version. That is version 36527. We'll select that and select open. And we would select upload. Let's give it one minute. It's just validating that the image that you provided is compatible with the router and that it would not cause any problems with your router. Okay, so the version that we're uh, uploading um, is 1.0.1.36, which is the same version, but it basically sets the base for uh, a 
updating and installing the DDWRT firmware. So we're going to select yes. This is, it would normally do a validation again and then it would begin the update process. Okay, so as you can see here, it takes just about three minutes for the firmware to update. In the meantime, what I would do is I would put a continuous ping running to know when the router is back up and available for us to log back in. While that is happening, I am going to, you can pause the video or you can fast forward the video. It normally takes about uh, a minute or two minutes for the firmware to install and for the router to reboot itself. It would do an automatic reboot for itself. So you can pause the video here and I would return um, when it's close to finish. As you can see, my, I am getting responses and the interface came back and as you can see that I am actually at the login of the DDWRT right now. So first of all, um, it would allow you to change the username and password. So I'm just gonna put a very simple password here. Okay. And as you can see, I am on version 36527. This is just the base. So what I would do now, the second file that I downloaded, which is a web upgrade, I am going to install that right now. So I go to administration. It should ask me for my password. And I go to firmware upgrade. I select uh, browse and I find the web upgrade uh, bin file make sure that it's the bin file and not the image file select open uh, I would recommend do not uh, reset the default setting because it's already uh, reset already so I would just select upgrade this process would normally take just about the same one to two minutes It would reboot the router right now it says upgrade successful so right now my router is currently being being rebooted so again I would have my uh, continuous pin running to verify and validate that it comes back up successful again um, I would pause the video here and I would come back when it is finished, um, the router is fully boot rebooted. Okay, as you can see, um, my router is back up. So um, right now I am definitely on the final version of the DDWRT software, as you can verify and validate up here. Thanks for watching um, this video, and I hope you tune in and look for any of the other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.